Uh, it was it was all week, uh, proper preparation. Uh, we focused on a lot of what Leo does, and we just came out and executed as our coach wanted us to. Okay, and um, you guys kept them in the single digits. You know, I was expecting a shootout. I think a lot of people were. What, what, how big was it that your defense came out? Uh, defense played lights out. Uh, I, I love them guys. Uh, when they play like that, I think we're unstoppable. Offense puts up numbers, defense stops the ball, and night goes on like it's supposed to. Uh, you guys had some big plays down the stretch. You know, how did, how did it? How did that play into the momentum of this game? Uh, big plays always excite us as a team. We're a big play team. We get a big play, we get excited, momentum gets rolling, and we just go from there all night. Okay. Um, you guys have Keyshawn, what's this victory mean for you guys to kind of maybe prove something the last couple years? For us? Yeah, for you guys. For us, this was a, a statement game. Uh, we wanted to come out here. We wanted to play hard. We wanted to, you know, put up points, finish the game, just be ourselves out here. Is this big because Leo's had your number the last couple of years, East Noble's had your number in conference. Does this make a statement? Yeah, I, like I said, it's a statement game. Uh, we came out here to win, and that's what we came out here to do. We executed offensively and defensively. How have you improved as a quarterback? You know, you've been putting the ball right where it needs to be. I mean, the, the evolution of your game the last couple of years has been tremendous. Um, it's, it's just all comes with practice. I, I work hard over the summer during, during the season. Uh, my coaches helped me a lot, and I, I thank them for that. This Leo team. Uh, it took a lot. We uh, we've been practicing hard all week, and uh, we've been focused the whole time. And we knew we could do it. We just had to be a team to be able to beat them. Okay. Defensive wise, you guys, you know, basically shut them down nine points through the whole game. You know, what did what did it take defensively to, to shut a team down like that? I think it really started with the D line. We got a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and they wasn't able to run outside like they usually do. Uh, how nice was it that your offense was able to help you guys, you know, give you guys a little cushion on defense? It was nice because we, we, could, we was able to pass and we was able to run too, so it gave us a lot of break. With the events from last week, were you guys able to come together more as a team kind of in the past week with everything that happened at DeKalb? Yeah, I think this team is a lot more closer than last year's team. We hang out, we text each other, we're always doing stuff, and we got good communication. Oh, I think our, our kids are just really focused on the big goal, and that's getting better every week. I mean, obviously, Leo's a cross-county rivalry that we've had, we've had trouble with them, you know, the last couple of years. And they've been awfully good, so our, our kids really came in focus. They didn't get to play a game last week. That got them hungry, uh, and then playing Leo was just icing on the cake for them. So, so they were ready to play, and they came out and played really well. I couldn't be more proud of them. What's the difference between this team this year and maybe the last two years? You know, we, we, we eliminated the selfishness. You know, we got more disciplined and we focused on the team. Those are the three things that we took into the offseason. We looked at teams that, that beat us last year, the good teams that beat us, and that's what we saw from them. And so we said, hey, we've got to get that on our side, and I think we've got it. But I noticed no turnovers, minimal penalties. I mean, those things that, that would cost you in previous years have been cleaned up tremendously. Yeah, I mean, it's discipline, and we didn't have that last year. You know, we, we, did, have a, we did end up having a turnover on a punt, punt return. And we had some untimely penalties that we've got to clean up. But the kids know it, and they're more disappointed about getting a penalty on them than I am. Uh, I don't really even have to say much to them. So we'll look at the film, and we'll find ways to keep improving. That's the big thing right now. We just got to get better every week. Um, what did it take to, to shut them down like you did? You guys were in the back row seem like every rushing play. Your defensive line was unstoppable. What, what did it take to, to do that? It takes 11 guys rallying to the ball. Those two kids aren't very big, but they run hard, and they're awfully fast. And they didn't, didn't get a chance to break one. We noticed on film a lot of their big runs came back on cutback plays, so we kept our backside kind of stiff, uh, let the front side get penetration, and when they came back on the cutbacks, we were there to pick that up. Okay. And with the events that happened last week, would you say this last week brought your team together this week? Because it seemed like everybody was in sync. There's no doubt. You know, the thing about our kids is that a lot of our kids have been through tragedy in their lives, and so the minute we got that news, they were very uh, somber, very serious, uh, very contemplative. We came back. We had a, a, a real emotional prayer for the DeKalb family, the DeKalb community, and it did kind of rally our guys around because they've been through it. They've had, you know, last year we lost a player. So that hit home for us, and I think it did kind of bring us closer together.